on Absumo. I think the deal's still there. This thing is pretty legit. So that's not what we're doing. We're not coming to you today because we want to talk about Restream.io. We just wanted to give it a plug and let you know that if there's any technical issues, that's why we're new with this software. Um, but we're really excited to be here today. Uh, before we dive into what we're going to talk about, I'm David Blackman. I'm half of WPGears.com. Tim and I host the WP the Podcast. You may know us. Um, and we're going to just do a quick webinar today and kind of share some knowledge with you beyond our podcast. I'll let Tim introduce himself. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, super excited to be here. Uh, I am the second half of WP Gears and WP the Podcast. And uh, my name is Tim Streifler, uh, also of Divi Life. And we are, as David mentioned, we are live streaming on a bunch of different platforms. And I just counted. And if everything is working right, we've never live streamed to this many channels. Um, if everything's working right, we're on seven different channels. We are on the WP Gears Facebook, Aspen Grove Studios Facebook, Divi Space Facebook, Divi Life Facebook, uh, WP Gears YouTube, Divi Life YouTube, and Divi Space YouTube. So welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm seeing uh, some of the, the numbers come in here as people are are getting in. And uh, our email blast just went out, so um, hopefully everyone is, is coming here. Um, but yeah, anything you want to add, David, before we, we dive into the, the, the content here? What I do want to say is because we're streaming on so many different platforms, wherever you're watching us, I can't really see if you ask questions and stuff. So we haven't nailed that process down. <laughs> Maybe that's inside of Restream.io or something. So if you ask questions, we're not ignoring you. We're super excited to have you. Wherever you choose to watch us from, whichever platform, we're glad. We're just happy that you're joining us and stuff. Yeah. So, and, uh, and actually, David, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because Restream actually does pull all the chat feeds together. And so um, we, we are able to see the questions here, assuming that it's all working correctly. So, hey, Miro. Hey, oh, Nick. Awesome. Uh, hey, Richard. I'm just I'm just naming some of the people that, that said hi in the chat. So, um, yeah, super exciting. Yeah. What? Where do I get this at, Tim? Do I just click the chat button over in Restream Dashboard? I believe so. Yep. That will take you to it. Um, so, yeah, let's oh. go ahead and, and dive right in. I know we're just one minute past the hour here of our, our starting point. And so um, what we're talking about today is how to stand out as a web designer in order to get more clients. And so you know, that's what everybody wants. Everyone wants more clients, more jobs, uh, more projects. And so... Um, uh, before we kind of talk about the different methods, I wanted to talk about the why, the why you need to differentiate yourself. Um, and that's super important today. Uh, as you probably know, there are a lot of web designers around the world with uh, themes like Divi and Divi's competitors on the WordPress side of things that are making it extremely easy to build websites uh, with all the functionality. You don't need to, to hire a developer, outsource the development. You can do everything drag and drop, visual builder, uh, and then also with all the, the design layouts and all the, the ecosystems that are a part of the page builders that allow you to uh, start a project um, without having to start from scratch uh, on the design side of things. So there's so much out there that makes web design very easy these days. And while that's a good thing for, for us, it, it en enhances our workflow, speeds up the process. We're able to create websites a lot quicker uh, the downside to that is it makes the, the barriers to entry a lot lower, which means that there's a lot more competition out there, a lot more other people that are, are going to be going after the same clients. And so, um, you know, we have to find ways to differentiate yourself, stand out, make you more marketable and make you uh, more attractive to the client. And so that's just on the kind of the, the competitor side of things. And other ways you have to differentiate yourself is you have to convince a client to uh, pay for a professional altogether with the platforms like Wix and Squarespace and Weebly. Um, am I leaving any out, David? I, I know there's dozens. No, those are the I, big ones. I, I think you've covered the main ones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, with all of those that make it really easy for small business owners uh, to do it themselves or the DIY do-it-yourself platforms, you have to figure out a way to convince a client to hire you instead of doing it themselves uh, because to them... the you know, they could spend thousands of dollars, however much you charge hiring you a professional, or they could spend 10 bucks a month, 15, $20 a month and do it themselves, you know, with the drag and drop 
platform like Squarespace and the other ones we mentioned. And so that's kind of the why, why you need to differentiate yourself, why you need to set yourself apart. Uh, and so now we're going to kind of transition and talk about some of the methods that we think uh, that you could do to really set yourself apart um, to, to help you get more clients. And so I'm going to turn it over to David. He's going to talk about the first method here. Yeah, well, one of the main methods of how you can stand out with your clients, and again, Tim and I go into a deep dive in our course, Divi Business Expert, um, you know, more into detail about this, but it's it's very important to educate the client, educate them why you're doing the things you're doing. If they understand why it is that, that you want to do what you're recommending to them, that's going to help the process go a whole lot better. Once they understand the value of why you're wanting to um, design the website the way that you want to design it, you know, for conversion, how that's going to benefit their, their bottom line at the end of the day is going to be huge for you. So if you educate them, I'll give you a small example. Um, I like explaining to customers how search engines work on a very layman's term. I don't even know that I put this in the course or I've talked about it before, but it's really, really important. And, you know, why it's important is because even though it's basic, simple knowledge to you as a web developer, it's not to them. They look at you as, holy cow, you just blew my mind. I like to explain to them how search engines work. When a new website is built or you've redesigned a website and you've resubmitted things to Google and Bing and all the other search engines. And basically, the story that I tell with clients is, hey, you know, You've got a new website. We let the search engines know. They come over. They crawl your website with these robots. They're looking at the robot.txt. They're seeing what your website's about. Okay. Tim Schreifler Online Solutions, Digital Solutions. He's, um, you know, he builds WordPress websites for clients. Great. Search engines come back again the next day. They look at your site again. Okay. He does WordPress websites for clients. Nothing's changed. Search engines are making a mental note. Nothing's changed. They're going to do this day after day. And if nothing changes on that website, they're going to determine, okay, we don't need to come to this website every day. We're going to come once a week. And that's why content marketing is so very, very important. But if you educate your customer, because they're, they're so worried about, I don't need a blog. Why do I, why is it important that I blog, you know? Um, if you educate them and help them to understand the value of, you know, not only the content that you're providing to the end user, but you help them understand really how search engines work and how they rank your website, then all of a sudden they're going ding, ding, ding. I tell you what, none of your competitors are doing this. Yeah. They're going out there. They're meeting with the client. Hey, we're going to build you a, 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 an awesome website. And, man, look at these flashy animations and you know, this parallax background and they're trying to just wow customers and stuff and get a dollar amount out of them as opposed to educating them how search engines work, why they need to do certain things like content marketing, blogging and stuff. So method number one is absolutely educating your client. In the same process, you're also going to discover what the goals are of that business. You always want to know what are the goals. When a visitor comes to your website, what do you want them to do? Do you want them to pick up the telephone? Do you want them to call your office? Do you want them to buy your product online? Do you want them to email you? Whatever that is, that's going to be very, very important about how you're going to structure the site and how you're going to build the site and stuff. So these are just a couple of, of, of things that are super, du super important when you're meeting with clients, especially from the first time. If you go in there to be helpful as opposed to trying to sell them something, they're going to love you. You know, Tim has a has a saying, you know, he loves to say it all the time. And honestly, I love the saying, you know, people love to buy, but they hate being sold to. And I guarantee you all of your competitors are coming out to sell. If you go in to help and educate, you'll 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 close a large portion of those deals ahead of your competitors, regardless of price. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more. Um, and that brings us to. The second method, so the first method, kind of just reviewing what David just went over, you can stand out by educating and helping your clients figure out what their goals are, and then you design to those goals. And the second method is traffic. You could have an amazing design website in that it's optimized for conversion, 
uh, you've figured out what their goals are and you've designed a, a great website that, that is helping them achieve their goals. But if you don't have any traffic, then it doesn't matter. Um, right. kind of the, the old saying, uh, if you build it, they will come. Uh, we all know, hopefully you guys know that that doesn't work with the internet. You can't build a website and expect to get traffic. You have to, uh, you have to figure out ways to, to get traffic. And so if you come to your client and you do what, what David talked about and you educate them, you help them figure out what their goals are. And then you take it a step further and you say, I'm going to help you get traffic now. Uh, you know, you can't just put up a website and expect people to find you. You can't just uh, put up uh, a website and expect Google to rank you on the first page. Uh, you have to figure out ways to get traffic. And so if you come with them, not just with that problem, but with a solution to that problem, uh, and you kind of go over the different things you can do. So for example, the first one being content marketing. David talked about that, blogging, writing blog articles consistently that help solve their customers' problems. That's going to bring them organic traffic. You want to jump in, David? I do want to say something here because I think it's important and I don't want it to get overlooked because I know where you're transitioning to yeah. with traffic. What we're talking about right now, the content marketing aspect is a 12 to 18 month process. Mm -hmm. Some clients may not need, they can't wait 12 to 18 months. So what Tim's going to talk about next is going to teach you how to bring traffic to them immediately. You do want to do the content marketing so that you can have that process when 12 to 18 months down the line, it kicks in and holy crap, your business is really going good. But sorry, go ahead, Tim. Yeah, no, and I, I'm glad you brought that up. Absolutely. Content marketing is, is huge, but it, as David mentioned, it takes a lot of time. And so if you come to the client and you say, I'm going to build you an awesome website, I'm going to optimize it for conversion, I'm going to help you achieve your goals, which is to get clients, make sales, uh, whatever it may be, get phone calls, get people walking in. And then you say, I'm going to help you uh, get search engine traffic, the long-term plan 12 months down the road. But on the short term, I'm going to help you get traffic through Facebook. Uh, everyone's on Facebook these days. Uh, we're, we're live streaming on Facebook to uh, four different channels here. And uh, your clients know that. They see other Facebook ads. They, they can see the power of it and how people, other companies are, are targeting them. And, you know, they're, they're, they're going to look at a website and then they're coming back and, and onto Facebook and seeing those same ads again. And they're seeing the power of that. And so if you can come to them with a Facebook strategy to help them get traffic through Facebook, not only are you going to help build them an amazing website, but you're going to help grow their business. At the end of the day, clients don't want a website. They might come to you thinking they want a website, but really what they want is they want more sales, more phone calls, more walk-ins, uh, more traffic, and, and all of those things. And so um, if you can help them discover that and then provide a solution, a, a, a strategy to get traffic, Facebook being an amazing one, then you're going to stand out from your competitors. Um, it's going to be like night and day because they have a competitor over here that's selling parallax and step-by-step uh, -step forms. And then they have you over here where you're saying, yeah, we can do all that too. But what really what we're going to do is help you grow your business. They're going to go with you no matter what the price. It doesn't matter if you're double the price of the other guy. Uh, that's an investment. That's not an expense. And so that's kind of what we're talking about here and is the key concept is, is helping your clients realize that you're not just going to build them something pretty. You're going to build them something that's going to help grow their business. And so, of course, we have an offer for you guys today. Um, put a little why in, in the chat. If you're on YouTube, you're on Facebook. Put a little why in the chat if you if you guys are okay if we share the offer with you and, and talk about what we have that can help you help your clients grow grow their business with Facebook. I want to see some whys in there. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this. We have 100 people watching us live right now. That's pretty awesome, dude. That's that's kind of cool. Um, we got yes, yes. We got lots of yeses. Yeah, there, uh, there so we we're go. Getting lot, we're getting lots of whys in the chat. So, um, <laughs> Enrique says no, and then he said joking. Yes. So, <laughs> Enrique is one of our I, students I, from our Divi Business Expert course, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and and I really like that. Uh, man, we can see everybody in one place with the chat and. Uh, I just wish that we could, you know, have Tim and Mai's name on the chat. We can we can choose who we're going to answer to on the on the chat side of things from uh, one of the different channels, which is fine. I'm in WP Gears right now, so if uh, if if you get offended, that's Tim who's doing it. If not, that's me. If you love it, you think it's awesome. So. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, as a lot of people know, David and I, we uh, we are partnered up with uh, WP the Podcast where we have our uh, daily podcast episodes where we teach business, marketing, WordPress. Uh, and then we also have uh, on WP Gears, which is the home of WP the Podcast, we have our Divi Business Expert course. Uh, and then super exciting, we just launched our Facebook Expert course. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Uh, we... We, we love Facebook. I've been doing Facebook ads for quite a few years. If you are have anything associated with Divi, then you've probably seen my face blasted all over your newsfeed uh, with my Divi products. So you know I love Facebook ads. Uh, but we partnered with people that we think are the best Facebook ad experts out there, Pete and Jordan Jones. They are a husband and wife power couple. Uh, they've been doing Facebook ads for about half a decade now and uh, helping hundreds of businesses grow their company with Facebook ads as well as teaching others. And so we, we brought them in, partnered up with them, and created the Facebook Ad Expert course. I'm going to put the, uh, the link to it in the stream here so you can see everything that's included in the course. But, um, I mean, it, it's kind of in the title. It's going to help you become a Facebook ad expert. And so that's kind of the, the whole point of it so that you can go and take this knowledge and help your clients grow their business on Facebook. And so it's kind of twofold. Um, for, for our audience, we see it as one, being able to, as I just mentioned, help your clients grow their business on Facebook. Add that as a service where you build them a website, but then you upsell them the Facebook ad uh, management and, and marketing service to help them grow their business using Facebook ads. And then on the other side of things, uh, you can use it to grow your own business, um, book your own clients, uh, target uh, business owners in your local area and get them excited about working with you. And so it's kind of twofold. Um, and so we, we teach you both. And on the, the, the services side, we actually have a module where we're going to show you how to sell Facebook ads to your clients and upsell it as a service to your existing web clients and new clients as well. So we're really excited about that. Um, David and I are, 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 are uh, doing that one together. Um, so yeah, David, anything you want to add to that? I think we pretty much covered everything. I do want to address, I'm not sure how to say your name. Chaud Harry, Chaud, Chaud Harry. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I apologize. It's, uh, he's on YouTube and he asked a question. He said, how hard, it, how hard would it be to sell a website for 19 year old intermediate experienced web developer working with Divi? And my answer to that question is, if you learn the skill set of how to do the things that we're talking about, it's not going to be hard at all. It's not going to matter what your age is. One thing that I will tell you is, you know, business owners in the older generation, they look to the to the younger generation as a very tech savvy, you know, um, age. So I really don't think that age has a whole lot to do with it. So uh, stay encouraged. Just keep learning. Um, and, and, and you can do great. I, I don't, I don't think that age matters. Like I said, I'm 51 and, you know, I look at the younger generation as, as the tech savvy generation. So I'm pretty sure other business owners do as well. But I think yeah. we've covered just about everything we want. If you want to get more clients, book more clients, add a new skill set to your existing skill set by selling the ability to run Facebook ads for clients and stuff. Check out the Facebook ads course. You're not going to regret it. Pete and Jordan are amazing. They're experts. They've increased their, their main niche was the photography, you know, industry. And I know for, for certain that they have increased revenue for their photography clients through Facebook ads to the tune of five figured revenue per month. That's huge. I want to say that, that the last client that I talked to him about generated an additional $50,000 in revenue because of the Facebook ads that they ran. So that's huge, you know, to a business owner that, you know, you can go in and for a pretty, pretty low cost, put some things together and increase their revenue. Uh, so it's a pretty yeah. good deal. If Absolutely. you have any questions, leave comments. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming we have comments on, uh, enabled wherever the heck we're we're doing it. Yeah, and obviously we've got them all pulled in here. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. I wanted to uh, give a quick overview. I posted the link to the Facebook Ad Expert course in the the stream, but just in case you don't see it, you can go to wpgears.com and then you'll find the the link to the course there. 
Um, but I wanted to kind of go over a quick overview of what the course includes. So this is a full-blown course. Uh, it's six modules long. And so everything from targeting to lead generation to audience building, what a lot of people don't realize is you can't just create a Facebook ad and then hit go. Um, you know, Facebook is very powerful and their algorithms are powerful, but you have to do a little bit of the work with the targeting side of things. And so in the course, we take you through and show you how to uh, build very targeted audiences uh, to help you find, uh, if you're doing it for yourself, the kind of clients that you want, or if you're doing it for your clients, help them find the type of customers and clients that they want to get. And so audience building is huge. It's probably the most powerful and valuable module in the course. Um, it's yeah, it's, it's very, very important. And so that's a huge part of the course. Um, and then as well as follow-up funnels. Follow-up funnels are really important. That's kind of the thing that separates amateurs from professionals in terms of internet marketing. Uh, and so super excited about that module too. The course uh, is going to be a $997 $900, course. And so it's a full thousand dollar course. However, uh, it's brand new. And so whenever we launch a course, we always launch it at a launch price of 687. So we did that with Divi Business Expert, launched it at 687. And then after class one, then it went up to 997. And so the same thing for the Facebook ad expert course. But I, I feel cheesy doing this, but wait, there's more. Because you're watching <laughs> the live webinar here, uh, the live stream to seven different channels, we have a super exciting additional offer uh, if you use the coupon code WEBINAR30, you'll get an additional 30% off uh, from the 687. And so I forget what that brings it down to for something. Um, I'm not good at math in my head. I'll, those numbers aren't round. Um, but yeah, so use the code WEBINAR30. I'm going to post it in the stream chat here. Um, and yeah, super excited. Uh, hope you guys uh, come and, and join and be a part of the course. And yeah, David, you want to do, see if we can answer some questions here? I do. I'm going to go ahead and answer this one real quick. Um, Tim just blasted that code out. That's interesting. It posts to every channel like 50 times. So I got to scroll back up. Tiny Little Dots asks, what's the best way to scare potential clients away from services like Squarespace? Ooh. I don't necessarily know that I like the word scare. It's not about scaring them. It's doing exactly what I talked about in the very first method, which is educating them. Squarespace is not owned by them. They need A business needs to own their website and their platform. If they go to Squarespace, which they can, and it's a great platform, Squarespace gets bought out two years down the road. Their whole business model changes. Everything that they've built is gone. WordPress, you own your own website. You control it. It's huge. It's very, very important as a business owner. So you don't want to invest time and money into a platform that you're not owning. That's my answer to that one. Yeah. You and, want to and, the next one? It, yeah. It, just to add to that too, um, with WordPress, building it when it's built by a professional, it's the sky's the limit. It's open source. You can do whatever you want. When, with Squarespace and other platforms, you're in a walled garden. Uh, it, it, the garden aspect, it's pretty, it looks good, but there's a wall around it. You can't do anything outside of that. Every, every piece of functionality that they have on there, it's what they're allowing you to do. You don't have full freedom like you do with WordPress when it's built by a professional. Um, uh, we've got a question here from Shannon. What do you say to the client who doesn't believe in the efficacy of Facebook marketing? You know, the guy who's not on Facebook, that, but the majority of his target market is. Yeah, that's a, a outstanding question. And I think uh, it comes down to illustrating to the client that it doesn't matter what they think, what they do, how, how they use the Internet, how they find the, uh, businesses to, to partner with. It matters what their target audience is. And so you kind of hit the nail on the head. If their majority of their target market is on Facebook, then you need to communicate that that's how he can reach his audience. Um, Facebook marketing is, is powerful. Uh, there's companies that are sp spending millions of dollars a year, millions of dollars a month on Facebook marketing, and it's because it's very, very effective. However, on the, the flip side, uh, on the opposite end of the market, you have small businesses that are spending a lot less, a couple hundred dollars a month, and seeing results from Facebook because of how laser targeting, uh, laser, laser targeting you can get. Um, Facebook is a data company at the end of the day, and so you're able to pinpoint your exact audience and your exact location uh, in order to reach them with your message. And so that's kind of the, the bottom line there. 
All right. Uh, do you prefer the Divi theme or the Div just the builder? It depends on the situation. If I know I'm building a website in Divi and I'm never really going to change it, use any other themes or anything, I'm definitely going with the theme. Uh, only use the builder plugin when I have multiple themes running. So, for example, currently as, you know, we've been working on a project behind the scenes. Um, you know, I've got Beaver Builder, Divi, Elementor, and Gutenberg all running on the same WordPress website. And guess what? They work awesome together. So it just depends on what the, what the situation is. Um, how many hours to master this course would you estimate? Ricky Friend asks. I guess it depends on how how much you dive into it and 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 um, how much you just are willing to put into it and commit to it. Um, I don't think it's anything that's earth shattering. It's not going to take years. Well, you use the word master, Tim. How long would it take to master Facebook ads? Yeah. So in terms of the the content, um, we've intentional working with Pete and Jordan uh, to make sure that everything is kind of broken down into bite sized chunks, and so. Uh, you know, each lesson uh, focuses on specific things. So rather than, uh, you know, having four hour long lectures, uh, everything's kind of broken down into bite sized chunks and you kind of go through. And so it breaks it down in a way where you can, um, I guess, master it in an efficient manner. And um, another thing worth noting too is this course is dripped. And so when you sign up, you don't get all the lessons at, at once. And you might think, that that's a bad thing, but hold on. It, there's studies that show that when the course is delivered in that method, that it's more effective. Students are more likely to finish the course uh, because when you have access to hours and hours of content, it's a little bit overwhelming, and so you kind of you know bounce around a little bit. But we structured the course uh, to be very intentional in the way that it brings you through the content, and so we want you going through it in a specific way. And so um, I guess at the end of the day, it's an eight week course. And so, um, it's not going to take you eight hours a day for eight weeks. It might take you an hour uh, a day or a couple hours a week, uh, over the course of eight weeks to get through all the content. I hope that answers the question. It does. And I, Tim, I think my battery on my laptop is about running out. And, uh, I think we're at the end of the questions. And I just want to say thanks for jumping on this live stream with us. And if you have any questions about the course, don't hesitate to email us. Uh, if you have any questions, period, we do have private Facebook groups for this course where we can share our knowledge and stuff. So, um, yeah, Enrique says, does the course cover how to best manage several clients in Facebook Business Manager? It's pretty complicated. Tim? Yes, absolutely. Um, that is an add-on module. Um, so the, the bulk of the course is teaching you how to master Facebook ads, but we do have a lesson on teaching you how to set up the business manager and manage uh, a lot of different clients because if you are running your web business and you're adding Facebook ads as a service, you're going to be have a lot of clients in there. And it, it, it can get complicated, as Enrique mentioned. And so, yes, definitely, that is part of the lesson. Um, a, another thing, too, to, to add to that is... Um, the, the bonus lesson that David and I have on selling Facebook ads uh, to your existing clients as well as to new clients. And so that's in there too. And that kind of goes along with that, you know, kind of uh, having Facebook as a service uh, within your web business. Awesome. I got to tell you, Tim, I am loving Restream.io, man. This, <laughs> yeah. is, this is pretty awesome. I'm going to say the word that's in my mind. This is pretty badass, yeah. man. Um, it is. This, is, this is legit. Thanks everybody for coming out. Um, you know, if you listen to our podcast, we appreciate you. You know, it's coming back on the 13th of this month. We took a little break for season three. If you've listened to the last, um, go to wpgears.com and you'll see the Facebook ads course there as well. Uh, Bill, Bill Wyatt asked that. Uh, we also have the link posted in probably the chat where you're watching us from. So, Check it out. Tim, you did great, my friend. Tim just posted it again. So there we go. we're good. All right, everybody. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining. Take care. Bye-bye. All right.